All right, I got my tea and I got my makeup set in front of me and we're about to do this thing. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be, wow, this feels so weird. I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna be really awkward because this just feels weird, like having this ring light in front of me and this camera and then having to sit on a stool and having all this stuff in front of me having this behind me like I feel so formal I can't believe I used to do this every time I filmed like this is crazy I'm going to be putting on a full face of makeup for the first time in basically six months I've done my makeup twice since I stopped wearing makeup and it was just for like a wedding and then for pictures and they were both really natural and I still feel like the base part of this is gonna be really natural because last time I did my makeup and I tried to do like a more full coverage face even though it wasn't even full coverage it was like what I used to do as my natural makeup it was just like way too cakey and I didn't feel like myself just because like I've gone six months every day seeing my face like this probably more I really love it it's really changed my perspective on things i guess i can talk about that in this video i'm gonna try and chill out and not be stressed because this is a fun video so i'm gonna try and pace myself and drink my tea and relax because this is what i used to do to relax so we're gonna try it out again let's just get into it i'm gonna do like the base routine that i did for the past few times i've done my makeup that's really natural but i feel like can also go with eye makeup because i'm gonna be doing eye makeup today but it's also going to be more neutral because Nicole Renee does the prettiest eye makeup ever and she always wears like a neutral glam and it's so pretty. I'm going to start with the e.l.f. Natural Glow Lotion. <laughs> this is so weird. I can't believe I'm filming putting on makeup. I honestly didn't think this was going to feel weird but like getting out all of the stuff that I have to set up just like was like whoa. I literally had to do this every time i filmed it's so much work i don't even know what time it is my skin has been like super clear recently and i think it's just because like i haven't put makeup on my skin in so long that like my skin just likes me for it i'm gonna tell y'all like what i've been using for my skincare a few weeks ago i woke up with like super scaly skin and it was like bumpy and it wasn't like breakouts or anything it was just bumpy and scaly it was just disgusting and it felt disgusting and kind of itched like it sometimes itched but mostly it just like bothered me because i was like what happened like my skin was doing so good i don't think it was because i did anything i think it was just because it was so dry that happened on like friday and then on sunday i went to sephora and got because i started looking at the gift sets on sephora.com honestly that just made a whole difference i saw a few gift sets that i would want and i got two of them one of them was one that i saw nicole renee actually recommend even though i don't really do makeup anymore i still watch a few people's makeup videos and she's one that i still watch because she does more than makeup and she also talked about how like she hasn't felt like doing super crazy makeup so it makes me feel kind of like I don't know, like, I relate with you, girl, you know? I'm using the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer, which isn't a high coverage concealer. It's, like, the most natural concealer ever, and I love it. Oh, yeah, I was gonna talk about the sets. I got the Bite Beauty set, the one with, like, the lip mask, the other kind of lip mask, and then a lip balm. Honestly, I don't know, I'm not really, like, I don't know if it's because Aquaphor. The whole thing is I'm trying to, like, get off of Aquaphor because I know it has petroleum as, like, the main, like, that's pretty much what I'm... I'm pretty sure that's what it is that I'm moisturizing my lips with, which works really well, but for some reason Vaseline doesn't work well for me, but Aquaphor does, and that's what it has in it. And I know it has mineral oil in it, and I know that's not good for you. I don't really know why, but I just know that it's not, and I want to try, I just wanted to try more lip balms because I've been on Aquaphor for literally, that sounds like a drug, I've been on Aquaphor for like four years now. I just wanted to try something new and give other things chances, even if they were a little more expensive. Like, I just want to like venture out, you know? The main thing I got it for was this by Agave Lip Mask. And look how like much, I feel like I've already made such a big dent in it. Nicole Renee said that this lasted her a year, this tiny tube. I feel like I'm going to go through that so fast because I feel like I have to use so much of it because it's really thick. I don't know, it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Like I thought that I was going to like mask my lips and like when I get up in the morning they're like plump. But I feel like in the morning like my lips are already not chapped but like they're already soaked it all in. I have like the lip therapy on right now which is like the tub that I feel like everyone thought was a lip scrub. It kind of has a weird taste to it. I've been using that every morning and then I've been using the lip mask every night and then I've tried to use the lip balm a few times but it literally like snaps in half every time I use it and that's kind of sad because 
like it's an expensive lip balm i'm not gonna powder my forehead at wool i'm gonna put my hair up now we're gonna do bronzer blush highlight oh i was talking about the gift sets i never even finished like what i was talking about about the thing that i got for my scaly skin i was saying how the bite one i'm not too impressed with like i thought that i was gonna like love it the other gift set that i got was the first aid beauty kit with the lip therapy so that was another lip balm that i could try and then the ultra repair cream it's in the tube though it's not like the one in the jar i started using that since i got it first few days i washed my face morning and night just so that i could get ahead of it and help my skin not die and like the next morning i noticed a difference i've been using it every morning since i only wash my face in the morning some people might not like that i almost dipped this in my tea that would have been pretty bad i'm using the elf as a primer and fuse bronzer and forever sun kiss a part of me has been getting back into watching like the makeup youtubers i used to watch like i still watch a few and i watch like every single one of their videos like kathleen lights nicole renee i watch every single one of Rob Beauty Christie's videos just because I love her so much. I don't know, I kind of feel like this is kind of like one of her videos. Whenever I was saying this might be a little longer because she just like will film 40 minute videos and not care at all. And like, I just love her so much. And she's so honest and like so open. And like Samantha Ravendahl, they're like really similar people. So if you watch one or the other, you need to be watching both of them <laughs> because they are really similar in personalities to where they don't really care what people say about their videos like they're gonna film what they want to do i really love them for that i haven't like had a really bronzed face in a long time because when i was doing my makeup last time it was for pictures and i was like i don't want to wear bronze i don't want it to look natural <sighs> wow i feel like i'm talking really fast and a lot but it's fine Oh my goodness, I kind of like this. I kind of like this a lot, like just chatting and putting makeup on, like this is kind of making me really happy. Just because that's what I've been watching a lot of recently. The last time I was going to film this, I had all my stuff ready. I didn't have any of this set up because I was house sitting at another house. That same one that's really nice, and I was like, I can use this house because it's going to be so pretty. But I wasn't in the mood, and I wanted to be in the mood to film this video just because this isn't what I do anymore, and I want to want to do it if I'm going to do it, you know? You know, I think I'm gonna do my highlight and then my blush just because that will make it a little more natural looking. As far as the lip therapy stuff goes in the first aid beauty kit, it's okay. Like, I mean, I use that like as my throughout the day lip balm just because it's the easiest one because it has the thing where you can just push it out and rub it on your lips. It also isn't the best. Like, I have to use it a few times and with my Aquaphor, I would only have to use it like twice a day. But I'm trying to use skincare. That's good for me. I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Soap X palette as I used to always do. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this shade first and maybe add a little bit more of the icy shade. Whenever I'm like filming this now, I just think of like me editing the videos whenever I would like edit like half of the video out. And like doing the highlight would be like the choppiest portion <laughs> because I just didn't want to like take forever, but like I like to blend my highlight really well so I, it would actually take forever. I still can't believe I'm filming like a makeup video. It feels weird, but it also feels like I never left. <laughs> when people ask like what I do on my YouTube channel, I'm like, um, well, I used to be a makeup channel, but now I kind of just do whatever I want. <laughs> I'm going in with the Essence Silky Touch Blush. I'm gonna kind of bring it up in here just because I don't want there to be like a line. I'm gonna swipe this off. 30 minutes later, we have Sibis. Oh, I think I'm gonna do my brows. Whew. So I'm gonna start off with my Morphe Eyelid Primer. This is what works best with the Morphe James Charles palette. I'm just really focusing this on my lid and then kind of blending it up into my crease, but not too much. Put some on my lower lash line. I also would always say that lower lash line, and then I'd have to edit like in between it. That's so weird. Why am I thinking of like the editing right now? Like why am I not thinking about like me filming? <laughs> we obviously have a lot of choices, but I want to go for more of the cooler neutral tones. And there's only a few of those in here. I'm going to be focusing mostly on Canvas, Punch Me, T, Benny, maybe Face. Those are just pretty much the only cool tones I see. And maybe a little bit of Ring Light or Sister. I don't know. I don't know. This is the part where I'm really really not familiar to because at least the other things like i've done a few times since 
I'm gonna take a little bit of canvas just to put in my crease so that everything goes on smoothly. I don't want anything to be like difficult to blend. And then I'm gonna go in with Punch Me. I couldn't find any palettes in my collection that have like cool tone colors. That's really what Nicole Renee loves. That's what I wanna do. I'm gonna go ahead and take this on the lower lash line as well. I might mix tea and punch me to get like a middle shade. I'm gonna bring that in midway. Uh oh, there's a sticky situation right there. That was the one gripe I have with this palette is the edges just didn't blend well. I need to take like a smaller brush and just take tea, like the tiniest bit. Gradually put that up. I kind of brought this into the inner corner a bit. I'm going to put like a shimmer shade somewhere so it's not going to look this choppy and disgusting. Has it been a year? Like this, this has been released for a year. That means I've had this for a year. What the heck? Whenever you look at time in the scope of things, like if you look back a year, I feel like then it feels like it's gone fast. But if I look back at like the month, that's what goes slow. And I definitely feel like I've said this before on my channel. I'm going to take tea on the outer part of the lower lash line. Take a mix of tea and like a tap of Benny and just kind of like try and press it in here without blending. I think that brought good depth to this look. Now we got to figure out a shimmer shade. That would be full on glam and that's also really cool toned. So I was thinking that maybe I could do like just a little bit of like a tap with it. Then it makes it look more just like a shimmer shade. That's really pretty actually. I'm gonna take some of this and kind of like get a bunch of the yumminess off of that. And then I'm gonna take this tiny little brush and then we're gonna lay it down. I'm gonna take it with my finger, just get a little bit and tap on top of it to make it look a little more effortless. I don't want it to be like a cut crease, but I also don't want it to be just like going everywhere. I'm gonna take a little bit of face. There we go. I always thought that was too dark for an inner corner, but probably just goes just go with this look. And then I'm gonna go put mascara on, and then I'll come back. So for lips, I have it narrowed down. So I used to top everything with the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Moonchild, which I'm gonna do today. But I'm between these two: the AOA Studio Wonder Matte Liquid Lip and Hype, and then the Milani a more matte lip cream and adorable. Oh gosh, there's like liquid coming out of that's disgusting. There's the Milani one, and there's this one. Honestly, I kind of want to use this one because liquid just dropped out of that. <laughs> oh yeah, I feel like this might be too pink. And let's put this lip gloss on. This will need it out. There we go. And then I'm also going to put on this other gloss just from the center because I want it to be a sheer brush. Okay, so this is the finished look. It's really intense for me, but like, I love it. What? This was really fun playing with makeup. It's not something I'm gonna do for all my videos still. Like, it's not like I'm back to my old ways, but this was really fun and maybe I'll do it a little more often than I have been since I haven't done it in like six months. Let me know down below how you like this makeup and if, and if, I don't even know because I don't even know what I would say. Let me know what you want to see down below, any video recommendations. Please just help me out down below with like either cooking videos or people videos or whatever you want to see. Please let me know. So this was like a really good experience, a really good like reminder of what I used to do. Also another reminder of why I don't do this anymore honestly. Like I loved this. It was so fun. I liked playing with makeup and chatting with y'all. But I just feel like I'm in a box. I don't like that I have to have a background and a ring light and like all this setup stuff. I just feel like I'm in a box. Maybe if I'm house sitting at a really pretty house, I can play with makeup with like a more casual background, but right now like I don't really have that in my house or in my room. So if you like this video, just let me know down below. If you're new here, I don't normally do these anymore. I used to be a makeup channel and now I do more lifestyle slash like health and food stuff. Just honestly anything I want to do. There's a lot of drive with me's and chatty videos. That's what I like to do. If you're new and you like this kind of video and you want to see more makeup videos, I have plenty on my channel. I have like 150 probably. So there's plenty of content for you to watch if you want to see them. I'm not saying this is the last makeup video I'll ever do, but I'm also not saying that I'm back. I'm not starting to do these again. So yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribed down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.